Hi. Today I'll be showing you how to use the scheduled task to restart or shut down your computer. And as well, you can as well use the command prompt or even partial to actually restart or even scheduled to restart your computer. So first of, first of all, let me go to the command prompt. And when I go to the command prompt, there's an option called shut down. So when I click shut down and I just try to see what I can do with the shutdown and here you can see it's going to display all the different options which I can do to shut down the computer so it's a full shutdown restart the computer we have the different option here you can see just shut the S just shut down the computer so let me show you something if I decided to just do a shutdown and I do restart and I do T so when I go to look for T here and it's going to show me let me just scroll down a little bit and look for the T. And here we can see set the timeout period before shutdown to start. So we can evaluate it from zero to like, oh my god, 10 years with a default of 30, 30 if the time period is greater than zero. So right now, sometimes in the past, I've actually scheduled my computer. When I say zero, automatically it will sh just shut down immediately but when i just do only the shutdown it may take like some seconds for the computer to shut down but when i do the t and i put like this will be 30 seconds and this will be 60 seconds which is one minute so from just you can try to calculate how long you want the computer to actually shut down but we can actually as well do the same thing let me just cancel this with a scheduled task when i go to my start menu and i go to scheduled task here so and here i can go to under shadow task i can create a task or create a basic you can decide to create a basic task or i can decide to create a task which gives you more option or more robust and here we can when i say okay i just want to create a task to shut this computer down in like in some minutes time in uh, one hour's time i can say well um just let me just call it shut down okay run only with, with, when users is logged on I can say to choose to run with the highest level, which is to run with an admin uh, account. So what do you want to trigger? So you have the option to actually say, okay, what do you want to trigger? This should be a one-time base. What time it is? It is now about 21.07, about after, after nine. I can say, okay, let me just put it in 10 minutes that the, the computer will shut down. It's just going to be one. Or you can decide to say, okay, I want to shut down this computer, uh, to restart this computer weekly. So we also have the advanced option to delay task for up to random delay like one hour to repeat this task every uh, one hour or every like some for duration of one day so we have some option to actually play here with so i'm just going to do this for now i'm going to leave this for just like in two minutes time this computer is going to shut down so the action we're going to do some action here which we of course we will need to say we want to start a program of course or you can decide to send an email as well but for now we want to start a program and that program is going to be shut down and what is the argument the argument is going to be the following restart and we're going to say it's t and it will be immediately so when i click ok and here we have the condition you can as well start and click the condition to start the task only if the computer is idle for so we have some other options here which of course we can decide to say okay wake the computer to run this task if for example the computer is on a um, um, using battery or it's on kind of a slip stand you can decide to wait the computer to restart this option so we also have the option to go to settings we can say this some are uh, some actually um, set by default allow this task to be run on demand or stop the task if the wrongs longer done so let me just click ok here and just wait and see what happens right now it's going to take in less than a minute so the task is going to just um be scheduled because i've already scheduled the task when i go to my scheduled task here you can see that we have a task called shutdown which is going to run i think in about just um one minute or maybe about 30 seconds the task is going to run and you can see that i'm the one that created this task so when you when you have a server and you want to you you go to the shadow task you can see who actually the author of the task if someone has logged on to this computer you can see who created or who scheduled the task but you can see we have some other tasks here which of course these are not these are just standard tasks which um, are there by default see we have a task which says restart 
uh, computer which um this one was last run i think um that was yesterday uh, sometime that was yesterday this one was last run today let me see okay so I was last run today this one was last run today it was the task that was run today but that was also just a one-time task actually so we have some other ones also which was which, which are here but these are just by the fourth task so as you can see i didn't do anything my computer is going to just restart so you can actually schedule the same task to happen like every week maybe once a month or once in every two weeks or once a day if you want to schedule the task so let me just pause this video for this computer to restart and we'll come back again so my computer has started i'm going to just log on to this computer and here we go so that is how easy it is actually to actually schedule a task so this schedule what i just did on windows server can also be done on windows 10 computer you can do it on windows server 2012 or 2016 you can as well even do schedule a task on windows 7 or windows 8 so right now i'm using a windows server 2019 for this test environment so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to like my you my uh, my video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video thank you very much and see you next time goodbye